Welcome to this presentation on how U.S. Air Force Service Doctrine is created. At the start, we need to understand the types of inputs that may determine the initial part of the process. Is this an update to an existing publication? Is this a proposal for a new doctrine publication? Is this just an administrative update to the text of an existing publication? Or is this an update to the Air Force Glossary? Once the LeMay Center receives an input, our doctrine developers review it to determine what type of update it is. Here, the LeMay Center Doctrine developers analyze the text to ensure it meets the four-part test from AFI 10-1301. Is it relevant? Does it describe specific Air Force operations and provide specific operational or strategic level effects in support of a specific objective? Is it appropriate? Does it describe operational level doctrine as opposed to tactical doctrine? Is it distinctive? Does it describe the information distinct from a similar function, mission, or task, or that fits completely under higher level doctrine? Is it sufficient? Is there enough operational material that it warrants a standalone doctrinal discussion? If the input meets the tests, the doctrine developers prepare the text for full coordination. If not, it's sent back to the office that provided the input. Air Force Doctrine is coordinated with the whole Air Force. Every MAGCOM, every Air Staff Office, and three Secretariat Offices can provide input. The Doctrine developers adjudicate every comment, either accepting, accepting with modification, or rejecting each one. Once adjudication is complete, the Doctrine developers send the comment matrix to all offices for a reclama opportunity. This lets any office with unresolved issues have another crack at clarifying its point. Once reclama is done, the doctrine developers update the draft text and prepare it for one final round of coordination with two offices. The statutory and regulatory coordination is needed with HAP JAA. The lawyers review the text for legal sufficiency. SAF PA. Public Affairs reviews the text for public releasability. Once the statutory and regulatory coordination is completed, the publication is staffed for a final approval. Air Force Doctrine Publication 1, the Air Force, is approved by the Chief of Staff of the Air Force. The CSAF has delegated approval for all other operational doctrine publications to the LeMay Center Commander. Once approved, the final pub is placed on the U.S. Air Force Doctrine website. From start to finish, the Air Force Doctrine process is a whole-of-service effort. The final product represents the efforts of airmen from across the entire service. Each publication is truly Air Force Doctrine.